So, this past Sunday were the 2024 Grammys. And to say it was iconic and had some iconic moments is an understatement. We had Taylor looking like a goddess. Freaking Lana Del Rey was in the crowd. Doja Cat on the red carpet. Beyonce left her house. Not to mention Miley Cyrus freaking owning the whole night. My faves were out and about and I was loving it. One thing though, I didn't watch. I know, I didn't even watch the show because I have to make these videos for you. So that being said, I have no idea what the results were, who won what category. If you watched my predictions um, video for the nominations then you know who and what I was rooting for to win each category. And today my friends, my favorite people, we'll be seeing if I was right. I, I already said there were some predictions that I had who would win and then there were things that I assumed would win just because like industry plant, no Tyla, um, things that I thought the Academy would do. So we're going to see if those are right and if my predictions myself were also right. So let's get right into it. Subscribe when you're here, like the video, check out the vlog channel if you have not yet and look forward to the Grammy live performance reaction we're going to be doing on Patreon. It's coming this afternoon. So look forward to that. If you're not a patron yet, sign up, bitch. And yeah, here we go. We have the 2024 Grammy winners. Also, the only award that I know who won is Taylor Swift beat Beyonce for album of the year with Midnight's versus Renaissance. And there's a whole bunch of discourse. I think even Jay-Z got on the stage to talk about how Beyonce is the most nominated person but has never won. No, she's not the most nominated. Let me put some respect. She is the most awarded artist at the Grammys but has never won album of the year. She continues to lose to Taylor. And there's a lot of discourse in that regard. Um, in my opinion, Beyonce and Taylor, despite them, you know, even supporting each other at each other's um, movie premieres and all that kind of stuff that they did a few months ago, they are still looked at as like the two Goliaths of different industries battling each other for whatever reason. We can't let two great goddesses be great. Um, it's always a this or that. And I, like I was saying, in my opinion, I don't want a dog in this fight because when it when it comes to Beehive and Swifties, like I said, I am in both fandoms and it is so hard to distinguish and to choose, at least in my opinion. It's just so hard to compare and compete with each other because they're both great in their own right. In my opinion, they're in two separate worlds, so it's really hard to now put them in the same category and say, well, this person's album was better than this person's. And I know I have freaking Midnight's on the shelf. I need to go get Renaissance. I got to... It's a whole vlog coming, bitch, about vinyls. Don't even get me started. But Renaissance and Midnight's, it's, I feel like they're not even comparable in the sense that the artistry is different, the writing, the production, the vocal ability. It's, it's just so hard to compare them and I don't know how the Academy does it year after year. So you guys sound off, sound off in the comments and let me know who you think deserved album of the year, at least for 2023. Take away the artists from the projects, and if you're comparing Midnight's to Renaissance, who do you think deserved to win? Let me know. In my opinion, I have no opinion on that category. They're, they're both great. Anyways, let's get right into the result. All right, for record of the year. Oh! Holy sh- Miley won record of the year. I mean, let's be for real. Flowers was everywhere. I even saw when she was performing it, which I cannot wait to react to her whole performance. Um, she was saying like, why are y'all acting like y'all don't know this song? No, because genuinely freaking Flowers was everywhere. It was trending, it was popping. Everyone's grandmother knew that damn song last year. Flowers, I'm so happy that Miley freaking won her Grammy. I'm glad that she's getting that respect. Um, she was up against Antihero. I ca I'm not gonna lie, I counted it out for my sis. Oh my God, I doubted her. And look, she freaking won. I said it's going to anti-hero. I thought Taylor was going to sweep like she usually does. Um, my girl Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire, was a great contender too. Kill Bill was also a great song, but it went to Flowers. I really thought it was going to be down to anti-hero and Flowers. And I'm glad, honestly, I'm glad that Miley won. I'm glad she won something. And also I'm glad that Boy Genius is nominated. In, in my opinion, didn't Boy Genius just kind of come on the scene? I don't know, I feel like all of a sudden they're everywhere. I'm not complaining, I'm happy for them, but I'm like, okay, was I asleep? Like, do I need to get into the Gigiana of Boy Genius? Let me know. And then here we go, second um, category, album of the year. It went to Taylor Swift, The Midnights. <sighs> Endless Summer Vacation, wait, Renaissance wasn't even in the category. Renaissance wasn't even nominated. 
So what was the hoopla about? She, Beyond, I mean, that might be it right there. Why wasn't Beyonce nominated for Album of the Year with Renaissance? If you got John Batiste there, where the hell is Beyonce? No shade. You even have Lana Del Rey, did you know? Dang. But no Beyonce. Janelle Monet, but no Beyonce? Something's wrong in the House of Commons. Because that's weird. Anyway, song of the year. What was I made for? Now don't get me, I love Billie Eilish down. Where's she at? Over in the corner. But song of the year? That's crazy. Antihero. Or at least flowers. But what was I, like I love, don't get me wrong, I love Billie getting her Grammys. Give her all the little flutes or whatever the hell that little instrument is on the award. But what was I made for song of the year? I would not say that was the song of the year for me. Honestly, no disrespect. Just in my opinion, what was I made for was not the song of the year. Like there's too many other good contenders to say what was I made for was the song of the year. Anyway, best new art. Victoria, Mon I'm, that makes me happy. Cause I feel like any chance the industry gets to disrespect Victoria Monet, considering all the songs that she's written and her impact on the industry, her influence, I feel like any chance that the industry gets to disrespect her, they will. So I'm glad that she's finally gotten best new artist, even though she's been around for a minute now. Um, the fact that she's finally now getting her, her, her flowers, no Miley Cyrus. I'm glad that Victoria is getting the respect she deserves. Coco Jones, I love the Stia, Gracie Abrams, Ice Spice. I thought it was going to Ice Spice. Cause we're in some silly times, I must say. Ice Spice, I'm not even gonna go there. I was gonna make a comparison, but I, I don't even wanna do that. Um, Noah K. Han, I know one of his songs that I'll Call Your Mom song. Um, but yeah, Victoria Monet, I'm glad that she won that. Producer of the year, Jack Antonoff. I feel like he's gonna win that award every year at this point. It's just like, if it's not Metro Boomin, um, yeah, it's gonna go to Jack Antonoff. Oh my gosh. And I, I, I also think it's really cool that producers are starting to get more, like they're getting the attention too. Like they used to be in the background, but now you know, like their taglines, that's a part of like the whole fun of a song now, to hear the taglines. And I think it's just really cool. Songwriter of the year, non-classical, so Taylor Swift. I don't think she's really nominated here. I don't care about this category, let's skip over to the dance, which I'm really starting to get more and more into dance and like pop electronic music, which is surprising me. Not the house stuff, you British people, calm down, but like dance and pop and like a little good beat. If it sounds like a song Dua Lipa would make, I love it. But it, flowers for dance electron. Oh my doja. Oh, instead of oh my God, we all say oh my doja now. I didn't need to do that, but doja lost. And Flowers is not freaking dance like, I mean, maybe the chorus. Barely, bitch. Um, yeah, what the heck? What was I made for even nominated for this is blasphemy. How is that dance or pop? This was depressed. Where did it end? All the enjoyment. Where's the pop? How can you dance to depression? I'm sad again. Don't tell my boyfriend. Maybe if they make like a remix, but. <laughs> this category is ridiculous. All the nominations. I mean, besides Doja Cat, Paint the Town Red, none of this is freaking dance electronic pop. Oh, I'm tripping. Best pop solo perform. Even then, even then, this does not give pop. The only ones that give pop are v Vampire Olivia Rodrigo, which at this point, I don't think my girl Olivia is going to win anything because all the big categories, she's up against the big dogs. Like, you're battling Taylor Swift, Doja Cat, Miley, Billy. Damn, it's it's too hard for my girl Olivia. I don't think she's going to get nothing, um, especially if she's always going to be in a comparison with Taylor Swift. But yeah, Flowers won Best Pop Solo Performance. That actually makes sense. My bad. I retract everything I was saying. Um, best Pop Duo Group. It goes to SZA and Phoebe Bridgers. Now someone said that I reacted to the album and heard the song before. I guess it's just a skip for me because I do not recall it. Ghost in the Machine. We've got to, I don't I, or at least I got to re-listen to it because Phoebe Bridgers and the good sisters from Boy Genius and you got SZA? We stand. I got to get back into it. Um, Candy. 
Y'all know I despise that song. Never felt so alone. I wish I would have went to Labyrinth and Billy, not gonna lie. Freaking Karma, Taylor Swift, Ice Spice, get out of here. Um, I wish you would have went to Labyrinth and Billy, but I'm also, I'm not disappointed that I went to SZA and Bobby Bridgers. Best pop vocal album. Excuse you. We, of course. I'm not surprised by that. Which, we're gonna do another video where we react to Taylor Swift's acceptance speeches because apparent mother freaking Lee, we're getting another album. And it's giving folklore vibes, which if you know me, then you know. Folklore was my, in fact, we gotta put it more on display. How come Nikki's right there with all the shit she's been doing, but folklore is at the bottom, you can barely see it. We gotta fix the setup. But no, folklore was my, that was my album of the year for me personally last year. So if Taylor's on the same energy with this poet's depression type feeling, whatever she's talking about, we're gonna get into it. I haven't seen a lot of it. We're gonna get into it in the next video. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait. So Midnight's best pop album. Let's get it. Love that for her. Best dance electronic recording. Skrillex. I don't know any of these people or anything, but I recognize the name Skrillex, so good for them. Best pop dance recording. Kylie Minogue freaking just won a Grammy. And I know that she's been around for a long while from Australia or whatever the fuck she's from, but I just started getting into her music like last year. So I'm happy that put em, put em, I hear it and I know won a Grammy because that's such a good song. Good for her. I'm happy for her. Best dance electronic music album. Don't know none of these people. Do not care. Best rock. Okay, we're getting, okay, boy, genius. Good for them. They beat Metallica. They beat the Arctic Monkeys, the Foo Fighters. Boy Genius is those, can you call them those girls? What are their pronouns? They're those theys. They are the, they are they. If it's those girls, then how would you say th those girls but non-binary? They are theys thems. They are they thems. I don't fucking know, but they're those people. Um, yeah, we, we stand. Next up, we got best mental metal performance, Metallica. I feel like they just had to give it to someone. Uh, best rock song, do not care. Where's Olivia? She's who, oh, Paramore, love that for them too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Best alternative music, my girl Lana's not winning nothing. A and W, Lana Del Rey didn't even get best alternative. Come on, you could have gave Paramore the rock stuff. Lana deserves something. And another video we're doing today, we're getting into the fashion. You had my girl Lana come out of her coven, come out of the depths of wherever she came from, whatever cave she ascended from, just to have her at that damn show and not give her an award. The disrespect. Best alternative music performance goes to freaking Paramore. But I can't even be mad because it's Paramore. This is why. All I wanted was you. Excuse you. No, my girl Lana, justice for freaking Lana, man. Best alternative music album, Boy Genius the Record. Uh, there, the Boy Genius is out here beating out Lana freaking Del Rey. Oh my God. You know, we were up against Gorillaz, Lana Del Rey, and Boy Genius. Boy Genius has like three or three Grammys now. <gasps> also, at the same time, I'm happy for them. But at the same time, I'm like, my Lana freaking Del Rey. For did you know that there's a tunnel? Just for Venice Bitch X Taco Truck or whatever the heck the song is called, she should have got a Grammy just for that song alone. Ugh. Why the heck did Candy Necklaces get all the, the attention? That was, why did they choose that as the single for the album? Jen, like, come on. Anyway, best R&B, Coco Jones, good for her, I see you, would never wanna work on that unit, I don't know why everybody does. Um, Victoria Monet, SZA, okay, good for Coco Jones, she beat out some icons. Na -na 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 -na. Next people that I recognize, Snooze. Ah. Oh yeah, I, I knew that was gonna win. Oh, but Hallie. Damn, but that's a hard category. Hallie was up against On My Mama and Snooze. For the culture, I wish it went to Hallie, but practicality-wise, I'm, 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 I know why it went to Snooze by SZA. Like that song was popping, it was ever, it was trending all over TikTok. 
Best Progressive R&B Album. Where is also Money Long? Because she deserves some respect here. Diddy. Thank God SZA won that category because this, this is... Oh, God. Let me get out of here before I end up in jail. Best R&B Album. Jaguar 2, Victoria Monet. I love that they're finally giving Victoria Monet like respect. But at the same time, I'm like, is this them just throwing her crumbs and being like, okay, now you can leave us alone. Like you got the attention that you've been deserving. Don't get me wrong. But what if this is like, now they're going to pay her dust from now on. Cause they're like, we awarded her last year. Now she gets nothing. Cause remember, I think it was the VMAs or some award show. She was saying she wanted to perform at and they were like, you haven't done enough, but my girl is getting endless Grammys. So how did she not, you know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, I, I feel like it's a setup or something, or I have trauma issues and don't trust people. Both could be true at the same time. Anyways, best rap performance we have. I'm only excited about Andre 3000. But it's crazy. They beat out Rich Flex, Drake, and 21. Also, did y'all see what's trending about Drake? If you're under the age 18, this is not for you. But my goodness. Maybe I do need to keep that Twitter account. <laughs> oh, players lost. Coyle Ray. Anyway, best melodic rap performance. Um. <laughs> this goofy ass song won. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, best melodic rap performance. They beat out freaking Burner Boy 21. They beat out Attention by Doja. Doja Cat didn't get an award, did she? I think this is, these are the only few that she was even nominated for and she didn't freaking win. I'm pissed. No, I'm pissed. I hate when they invite artists. Ugh. Anyway, all my freaking life won. That's crazy. Best rap song, The Scientist with all these damn people. I, I've never even heard the song, but it's won two Grammys. Anyways, best rap out. Michael, like who even is that? No disrespect. But this person beat out Drake in 21. They beat out Metro Boomin. Travis Scott is still a thing. Y'all still listen to Travis Scott? Okay. But no, Killer Mike. Do Is this just like a stage name or who is this? Killer Mike. You. Best spoken. All right. Who, where's Olivia? I feel like she has a few more in her, doesn't she? Best like, best country, do not give a fuck. Best American performance. Take me to church. Oh, speaking of which, gospel. Where the heck is Hosier? Was he not nominated for that, um, what is it? War song or house song or something? When my time comes around. That song has been stuck in my head for months. He was nominated for nothing. Best African. Uh huh. That industry. Oh, I could swing on somebody. I said it. I said it. They're going to give it to Tyla. I, I said it. This lady, she just came on the sit. Oh my, she beat out Burna Boy. She beat out Davido Asake. Best African music performance, water. Make me sweat. <sighs> Let me move on. Let me move on. That's crazy. Anyway, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna get the girls riled up. I can tell. But whatever, it's my opinion. It's my video, it's my channel. Dave Chappelle. Meryl Street. oh. I thought this was that actress. What's her name? It doesn't matter. Are these all the Oppenheimer? Beat out Black Panther Wakanda? Barbie? Best score soundtrack? According to who? Barbie, the album won best compilation soundtrack for visual media. But they couldn't give one to Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, you're not getting it. Just at this point, Nikki's never gonna get one. It, it's a it's a dead thing. Let's not even, okay, what was I made for? Best song written for visual media. Love that for her. It really was a good song. She said, 
and just live or just breathe or whatever the heck they say in that movie. And then it transitions to Billy's part and it's beautiful. Barbie was such a good movie. Um, anyway, I'm still not over that bald guy who made that stupid joke about ba Anyway. Um, yeah, I guess that's all the categories we care about. Freaking justice for Lana. Justice for my girl Olivia. Because how, how did you snub... No, because let's talk about it. How the heck did you snub Guts? She is re... She's breathing fresh air into the rock genre, Olivia Rodrigo. Besides Paramore, there's no other rock girlies coming onto the scene or even making it big besides Olivia. So I feel like Guts just as an album too. American homeschool girl or whatever the fuck. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Both those songs bops. Vampire was everywhere. And yeah, they nominated it for a song of the year, but that's not enough. I need them to I need them to start awarding people. I'm tired of them, honestly, awarding artists for multiple categories, in my opinion. I'm kind of over it because how are you going to give three, four, five awards to this artist, but not a single one to another artist when in my, they were contenders for the same categories? It's, it's getting on my nerves a little bit. I can't lie. Um, but that being said, yeah, justice for freaking Lon Del Rey, justice for my girl Doja Cat. Doja, you should have just stayed hanging out with the devil at that night because why were you even there if they weren't going to give you nothing? You looked good on the freaking red carpet, which reminds me, we need to get into the red carpet looks and Taylor Swift's album announcement. Thank you for watching. If you made this far into the video, comment, favorite, did you watch the Grammys? The answer is no. Bye. I told you I'm not streaming that shit anymore. They pissed me off last year and I meant it.